and now it's aimed at queer women of colour um, and allies. So um, basically it's open to all as long as they respect what it's about. And uh, we're very excited about our 25th birthday party. Um, it started 25 years ago. Um, I set it up with um, a woman called Paula Gannon Lewis. And basically, um, I didn't come out until I was 29 years old. And it took me a while because of the lack of representation of queer people of colour when growing up. It just seemed like there was something really wrong with it. And um, when I finally did come out and I came to Manchester, um, well, basically I was expecting it to be a utopia but it wasn't. <laughs> it was very male dominated and there was many a place where I didn't feel welcome and um, black lesbians, um, well a few and far between and that's how Paula and I met. Before that reason because we were so rare on the scene and um, she stood out and uh, we just stood out to her and we just started talking to each other and we became friends and then one day we were just chatting about what it was like for us when we grew up, how much better it would have been if there were more nights that or, or places where we could go to where we, where we saw people who were like us um, and that's where the idea for Black Angel came about. So we set it up and it started off in vanilla and we played R&B, Bangra, um, yeah and, and it was very very inclusive and it was a safe space where we could just be ourselves, hence our byline feel free to be. People would travel from all over the country to attend because um, they'd long since given up on the village because um, it didn't really, it, it wasn't representative to them and it didn't offer them um, what they were looking for. And um, it was in essence a club night, but it was political because of what it stood for and um, it inspired others to follow suit. So on Saturday the 8th of October, we're celebrating our 25th birthday party at the Contact Theatre. And we've come full circle because we used to do events there as well so that's it's nice actually going back there it's gonna be a great celebration and the reunion there'll be new people coming with a reunion of um, you know people who used to come in the past and we're also hoping to inspire the next generation as well to, to take up the baton I think it would be received the same way yes I do feel that there is change um, but not enough. There shouldn't be a need for such nights, but there still is, because there still is racism on the scene. We experienced racism when we set the night up, and things were so much better when we moved out of the village. The, the village is better, but it, it, there's still a long way to go, and we still need more events of this kind. Of course, you see more, because at Pride, we had um, the QT Pop takeover last year. We had um, the dance space, and again, again this year, wasn't it? So that would never have happened, so that, that's probably thanks to Mark, isn't it? Because I don't feel that would have happened otherwise. Yeah, racism is still prevalent. White allies need to do something about that as well. And I essentially think it's voting with your, um, well, voting with your pints don't go there until they change things. I still feel even in this day and age that our black history is hidden and it's the same thing it's all part of representation if you don't know your history you know you're almost rootless it's it by knowing where you come from and knowing your past it empowers you it makes you a stronger person it's very very important and we're part of that to highlight the black history i mean it just makes sense that black angel reunion a great thing for us and it's a big event for us our 25th birthday party that we should also be part of black history month